Today, two local high schools look to advance in Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Who will advance to our quarterfinal round? Will it be those from Chesterton? Or our visitors from Portage? It's an all Porter County matchup here in the first round. We'll find out who advances next on this edition of Making the Grade. From safer communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you. This is season number eight of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. I'm your host, Andy Schultz, and today, eight of the best and brightest students in Northwest Indiana look to advance their team into the next round of our tournament. What's at stake in that tournament? Well, the champion will receive the coveted Making the Grade championship trophy, as well as scholarship money provided by NIPSCO. Very generously, thank you to NIPSCO. We will see who it will be. Who will advance in this tournament? Will it be our, our friends from Chesterton or from Portage? We'll find out here in just a few moments. We'll have a chance to also meet our contestants a little bit later in the show, but we're going to get this game started right now with some points on the board. Our first round, we call it question and answer. It's pretty simple. I give the questions, you give the answers. Buzz in if you think you know it. Five points for a correct response. There's never a penalty for an incorrect response. We'll just give the other team a chance at those points. All right, here we go. Everybody's in, hands on buzzers. First five point clue coming your way in this game. What most common unit for measuring land in the US equals 43,560 square feet? Andrew from Chesterton. An acre. An acre is correct. Five points for Chesterton, and you're on the board first. The house in which he lived with his wife Sophie is mentioned in his Mosses from an Old Manse. Name this 19th century American writer, most famous for the scarlet letter. Joshua from Chesterton. I don't remember. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. No worries. Portage, anybody want to take a guess? Nathaniel Hawthorne, famous for the Scarlet Letter. Five-point clue coming your way here. In written music, what capital letter is sometimes used to indicate 4-4 four, four time? Haley from Portage. Uh, C. C is correct for common time. Five points for Portage, and we're tied. Healthcare expenses are lessened by some, for some by federal use of this idea. Get, Paul from Portage. A, su a subsidy? Subsidy is correct. That's right. A uh, term for a direct payment from a government that covers part of a cost of a good or service. Five points for Portage, and you're on a roll. You're up to 10. Here we go. Five point clue. Identify the two word quantity stored as a result of the position of an object, like an arrow or a metal spring, that has not yet been expended. And Andrew from Chesterton. Potential energy. Potential energy is correct. Five more for Chesterton, and we're tied. It commemorates the rededication of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. Identify this eight-day holiday, also known as the Festival of Lights. Paul from Portage. Hanukkah. Hanukkah is correct. Five more for Portage. You jump into the lead. This system of your body regulates melatonin and insulin. Name this system. Andrew from Chesterton. The endocrine system. Endocrine system is correct. Five more and back and forth we go in this first round. Spell the chronic skin condition known as psoriasis. Christian from Portage. P-S-O-R-I-A-S-I-S. -S. That is correct. P-S-O-R-I-A-S-I-S. -S. Five more for Portage and you're up to 20. Its celebration in downtown Paris includes fireworks and a military parade. Identify this holiday that marks the storming by Andrew from Chesterton. Bastille Day. Bastille Day, that is correct, by peasants of King Louis XVI's royal prison. That's right. Five more for Chesterton. A tight game here in the first round. What four-letter word is the collective term for horse-related gear like saddles and harnesses? Katie from Portage. Tack. They call it tack. Five more for Portage. Has anybody missed yet? My goodness. Here we go. Five more. 
He spent nearly 20 years in the U.S. House before assuming his current job in 2011. Name this Republican governor of Ohio. Brandon from Chesterton. John Kasich. That is correct. Five more for Chesterton. His later books, like The Screwtape Letters, were written before he married his wife, Joy, in 1956. Name this British creator of the Chronicles of Narnia. Andrew from Chesterton. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is correct for five more. Which U.S. constitutional amendment banned slavery? Paul from Portage. The 13th. That is correct. The 13th Amendment banned slavery. Another five for Portage. She appears on the U.S. Supreme Court building carrying a double-edged sword. What goddess of myths sculptures show her holding a balance to help her weigh legal matters? They call her Lady Justice. And that is the end of our first round, and a good one at that. Six correct responses for both teams put you at 30 points apiece. Well played by both squads. All right, we will put a bookmark in this game, pause it for a moment, and take a moment to meet the class. I'm over on the Chesterton side talking to Brandon, who is a junior at Chesterton High School. You play the piano, yep. and you play saxophone. Yeah. I'm assuming you've played the piano a little bit longer. Definitely. So you feel like you're a little better at that? I'm not sure if I'm good at either. <laughs> <laughs> what age did you start playing piano? Piano is probably more around the age of seven, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Good, good to get started young on that. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So you enjoy music yeah. quite a lot. All right, good. Well, Brandon, glad you're here. Good to meet you. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the game. Andrew, or Drew, as you like to be called as well, a sophomore. You play tennis, yep. and you're part of the Quiz Bowl team, correct? Yep. So which one of those occupies more of your time? Uh, probably tennis. Yeah, sure. And you play for the, the team, the yep. school team. And uh, Do you like a, are you a singles guy, doubles guy? Definitely doubles. Doubles. <laughs> you don't like to run too far side to side. Nah. That's good. Well, good. Glad you're here. Glad you're involved. Thank and you. uh, good luck. Alec is a junior at Chesterton. Uh, you play guitar, yes, correct? Yes. So uh, do you have a specific genre of music you like to play? Uh, probably just rock. Yeah, just rock in general, classic rock, new stuff, doesn't matter to you. Uh, probably, I'll play a lot of folk. Yeah. Oh, really? Nice. Do you have like an artist that you specifically uh, like the most? I play a lot of Neil Young. Nice. Very good. American icon. Alec, a junior at Chesterton, good luck the rest of Thank the you. game. Yeah, you bet. Joshua is a sophomore yes, at Chesterton, sir. and you're a member of student government. I am. Correct. So now you, uh, you want to do anything political in your life, or are you just like doing it now? I don't think so. Yeah. It's just a fun thing to do Something with some of my now. friends at school. And you, and this is an interesting fact, and, and an important one too, especially to future employers. You're an Eagle Scout. I am. That's a hard one to achieve. Yeah, it was. It was difficult. It took uh, two, three years of full commitment to scouting, yeah. but I definitely do not regret that decision. Yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations that's on Thank that you. honor. Good luck to the team the rest of the way. Chesterton is coached by Chris Hackett. We are on the Portage side, and I'm talking to Christian, who is a senior at Portage High School, and you want to study computer science next year. So uh, what is it you want to do with that? Um, I'd like to mostly get into coding, uh, hopefully in like a video game kind of sense, but I still definitely enjoy doing uh, any kind of software in general. Sure. So just like computers, have you just kind of been with technology your whole life, or pretty kind much, of a new yeah. discovery for you? My dad introduced me, in, uh, introduced me to computers in general at a pretty young age. He okay. does the whole computer repair kind of thing. Um, it's pretty much has been all my life at least. So. You were born to do it. All pretty right, much. Christian, good to meet you. Glad you're here. Good luck. Katie is a junior and you're a member of the marching band. Yep. And you also played French horn for six years, but you don't play French horn in the marching band, I'm guessing. No, I play the mellophone in the marching so band. So those that don't know, what is a mellophone? It's basically marching French horn. It looks like a big trumpet. It's like a big trumpet. I think that's a really good yep. description. So you like, like being a part of the marching band, the team, the camaraderie, all that stuff? Is, I do. Is the best part of it, right? Well, good. I have a little experience with that. Katie, good, good to meet you. Glad you are here, and good luck. Haley, also a member of the same, the Pride of Portage Marching Band, and you're a drum major. So tell, tell those that don't know what a drum major does. Um, a drum major is basically the person that um, leads the band. They conduct for the band and everything. They're the person that stands up and waves their arms. Sure, sure. Um, and I've been a drum major since I was a sophomore. Great. Great, well, congratulations on that, and uh, good luck in everything you do with the band and academically, and good luck the rest of the game. Paul is a senior at Portage High School. You're gonna be a, part, a member of the U.S. Naval Academy next year. Yes, sir. So what got you interested in the Navy? Oh, I've wanted to uh, go to a, a service academy since I was a little kid, so sure. 
I've just been checking off the boxes the last four years. I managed to do it. Yeah, that's great. What do you hope to do down the line? Something, uh, do you want them to help you find a path or do you have a specific way you hope to go? I'm not sure exactly, but I'm thinking Marines or aviation. Cool. Very good. Well, good luck on all of that. Good luck the rest of the game to the Portage team. They are coached by Kathy Nye. All right, more game coming your way here in our second round that we call Pop Quiz. These are the same questions as before, five points apiece, no penalty for an incorrect response. The change here though, this is a one-on-one -on -one competition. So it'll be Paul versus Joshua, Alec and Haley, Katie versus Andrew, Brandon and Christian. After four questions, we'll cycle around to Paul and Joshua again. All right, so we get this started. Hands on buzzers, Joshua and Paul. This one is for you. Chavine de Wantar in the Andes Mountains, a civilization that predated the Incas, was north of Lima in what South American country? Paul from Portage. Peru? That was in Peru. That is correct. Five points, and that breaks the tie. Haley and Alec, your question. Its first act includes a fairy named Falling Breadcrumbs, while its final act includes fairy tale characters. What Tchaikovsky Ballet's title character is cursed until kissed by a prince? That was Sleeping Beauty. Andrew and Katie, for you. One of these is formed by each set of lines sung all the way through a song like the Star Spangled Banner. Give this six letter Italian word used as a synonym for verse in poetry. They call that a stanza. Brandon and Christian for you. It's radioactive 14 isotope is used as Brandon from Chesterton. Carbon. Carbon is correct, abbreviated the letter C. And five points for Chesterton, I believe we are tied again. Back to Joshua and Paul. What type of map shows that Idaho grows potatoes, Texas has lots of petroleum, and Florida grows oranges? Joshua from Chesterton. Political. Not a political map. Paul. Mike. Go ahead. Economic. Economic map is correct, also known as a resource map. Five points for Portage. Alec and Haley for you. In French cooking, a poissonnier specials in cooking, specializes in cooking what specific type of protein? The poissonnier. Haley from Portage. Chicken? Not chicken. Alec? Seafood. Can you be more specific? Fish. It is fish. That is correct. I can give you that. I was allowed to give you that with the five points for Chesterton. And let's see. Well, look at that. Of course, tied again. Andrew and Katie for you. Owned by Yahoo, what website calls itself the home for all your photos and offers a free terabyte of photo storage to new users? Andrew from Chesterton. Shutterfly? It is not Shutterfly. The home for all your photos is Flickr. Christian, Brandon, for you. Name the type of animal that fits into an environment's life cycle and helps the environment decompose and regenerate by getting rid of dead and dying materials. Brandon from Chesterton. Decomposer. Not decomposer. Christian? That's all right. That's a scavenger. Paul and Joshua, back to you. Name the, uh, that's the last question. Name the leader of the Nez Perce tribe who said at his final surrender in 1877, from where the sun now stands, I will fight no more forever. Joshua from Chesterton. Pocatello. It was not. Portage. Paul? Was it uh, Tecumseh? It was not Tecumseh. We're looking for Chief Joseph on that one. Alec, Haley for you. Its final book details the funeral of Hector. Name this ancient epic that begins, Sing, O goddess, the anger of Achilles, son of Peleus, that brought countless ills upon the Achaeans. The Iliad starts that way. Andrew and Katie, to you. From the late 1880s until 1954, France governed what are now three separate countries in Southeast Asia. Give the collective term for those three countries before 
Andrew from Chesterton. Siam. Uh, it is not Siam. I'm going to finish it for Katie. Give the collective term for those three countries before they became independent. They were known as French Indochina. And that's the end of our second round of play. And look at that. We are tied again. 40 points apiece. Can't separate these two teams. More points coming your way, though, in our third round. It's called Class Project. This is group work if you want it to be, although you don't have to make it that way. I will give three clues that point toward one answer. If you can give me the correct answer after one clue, it's worth 30 points. You get the big points because it's a little more vague than the others. Two clues I, write, I read, you get 20 points. If I read all three clues, it's worth 10. Both teams can respond at all three levels. All right, everybody's back in now. And hands on buzzers, three clues, one answer. Social studies is the category here. Built on an island in Lake Texcoco, this city got its current name, Joshua from Chesterton. Teonstitlan. Uh, that's incorrect. I will finish it for Portage. The city got its current name after a two-year war between 1519 and 1521. 20-point clue. Everybody's back in. The Spaniards built this city on the site Joshua from Chesterton. Mexico City. It is Mexico City, that's correct. You were there, because I was about to say Tenochtitlan, but yes, 20 points for Chesterton, and you jump into the lead. All right, here we go. Three new clues, all pointing toward one answer. Science and math, specifically here, 30 points. This problem is caused by defects in the genes that make photopigments within the cones of the eyes. Christian from Portage. Color blindness? Yes, color blindness, 30 points for Portage, and you jump up to 70. All right, we are flying through this round. Three more clues, one answer. We're, we're now we're on the literature and language arts side. 30 points here. They are said to have been told by a group of people making a pilgrimage to the shrine of St. Thomas a Becket. Twenty point clue, same answer. This collection includes stories by a cook, a parson, a squire, a summoner, and a wife of Bath. Andrew from Chesterton. Grimm's fairy tales. Incorrect. Portage. A couple seconds here. Ten point clue, same answer. It is a collection of twenty-four stories by medieval British author Jeff Jeffrey. Andrew from Chesterton. Aesop's Fables. It is not Aesop's Fables. I'll finish it for Portage by medieval British author Geoffrey Chaucer. Those were the Canterbury Tales. And that is the end of our third round. It's a tight one, Portage with a 30, or pardon, a 70 to 60 lead, but there's tons of points coming your way. A lot of you have played this game before. You know what happens in our final round. It's called Final Exam. Take a look at the board. You will see six categories, each containing five questions, each worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points, respectively. We will take them in that order. The team that last answered correctly will control the board, except for this first choice, which will go to Chesterton because you trail at this point in the game. So, Chesterton, which 10-point clue would you like to start with? Uh, let's do starts with T. Starts with T, 10 points in that category. This third state to join the union after the original 13 includes the cities of Knoxville, Memphis, Andrew from Chesterton. Tennessee. Tennessee starts with T, 10 points for Chesterton, and it's your board. What would you like to do? Uh, we'll just do it again. 15 starts with T. This weather occurrence, common throughout America's Midwest, can be defined as a Andrew from Chesterton. Tornado. Tornado is what we're talking about. That starts with T. 15 more for you, and you control the board. And for 20. And 20 starts with T. To steal someone's this means to announce big news before another person can do it. Katie from Portage. Thunder. Thunder. You steal someone's thunder. That starts with T. 20 points for Portage, and you jump into the lead. What would you like to do? You can stay uh, there for 20. Starts with T for 25. 25. We're going to keep rolling there. In 1953, Nobel laureate poet Derek Walcott moved to this Caribbean island now paired with Tobago, where he wrote his, Andrew from Chesterton. Trinidad. That's Trinidad. 25 points for Chesterton. You're up to 110. You're bored. You can either wipe out the category with 30 there or go somewhere else. 
Uh, we'll try out presidents. We're going to the presidents, U.S. presidents, specifically 10. He was the first secretary of state to later become president. Joshua from Chesterton. Thomas Jefferson. It was Thomas Jefferson, yes. 10 points for you and for your team. What would you like to do? Uh, let's go for starts with T for 30. We're going to finish up starts with T, 30 points there. In math, this is a line that touches a curve at a point. Andrew from Chesterton. Tangent. That is correct. Tangent line, 30 points for Chesterton. Ends the category. You've got to go somewhere else. Uh, vocabulary. Vocabulary, 10 points. This six letter word means both to put on different clothes and Andrew from Chesterton. Change. Change is correct. Also, the coins re returned after a purchase. 10 points for Chesterton, you control. Uh, vocabulary again. 15 for vocabulary. The word Esquire after a person's name indicates that he belongs to this profession. Joshua from Chesterton. The knighthood. That is incorrect. Sounds like that, though. Portage? Esquire means you are a lawyer or attorney. It does not mean game show host, so I am not an Esquire. Chesterton. Uh, let's go back to U.S. presidents. For you bet. U.S. presidents, 15 there. He was the first president to be assassinated in the 20th century. Andrew from Chesterton. Taft. It was not Taft. Portage. Paul? Lincoln. Not Lincoln. It was William McKinley. Chesterton. Uh, U.S. presidents again. Presidents, 20. This U.S. president's 1947 doctrine gave foreign aid to Greece. Paul from Portage. Truman. That is correct. Harry S. Truman. 20 points for Portage. Your board. We, you trail, trail by 50. Uh, vocabulary for 20. You bet. 20 points vocabulary. As a verb, it can mean to hold something quietly, such as a deadly disease or a grudge. As a noun, this six-letter word is a place for a boat to rest that is safe from the open sea. Katie from Portage. Harbor. Harbor. Yes. 20 points for Portage. You've cut it to 30. What would you like to do? Uh, vocabulary for 25. 25, vocabulary. This type of puzzle combines pictures and either plus signs or minus signs to create a phrase or story without actually writing the story down word for word. They call that a rebus. Portage. Uh, U.S. presidents for 25. Presidents, 25. When he left the White House in 1889, his wife, Frances, told a servant, we'll be back four years from now, a promise he kept. Andrew from Chesterton. John Adams. It was not John Adams. Portage. That was Grover Cleveland. Portage. You can wipe the category or go somewhere else. Um, U.S. presidents for 30. You bet. 30-pointer in presidents. This president from Ohio who promised a return to normalcy after World War I died in 1923 and was replaced. Joshua from Chesterton. Wilson. It was not Wilson. I will finish it for Portage. And was replaced by Calvin Coolidge. Paul. Is it McKinley? It was not McKinley. That was Warren G. Harding. Portage, your category to choose. We are under two minutes to go in the game. Uh, vocabulary for 30. Vocabulary, 30 points. Once a type of Greek philosopher who believed self-control was the only means of attaining virtue, today this five-letter word describes someone who thinks that everyone is motivated by selfishness. Joshua from Chesterton. Cynic. Cynic is correct. 30 points for Chesterton. You're up to 190. New we'll category. Go, we'll go with astronomy for 10. Astronomy, 10 points there. This type of galaxy that includes the Milky Way shares its name with what a perfectly thrown football looks like. Andrew from Chesterton. Spiral. A spiral yes, galaxy. that's correct. Spiral galaxy. Yes, that's right. 10 points for Chesterton. And you get the 10 and you're bored. Astronomy for 15. One minute to go in the game. Astronomy for 15, correct? The term asteroid was suggested by Sir William Herschel, who discovered this planet. Paul from Portage. Mars? It was not Mars. Chesterton? Brandon? Uh, Mercury. It was not Mercury. He discovered Uranus. Chesterton? Uh, let's go back to astronomy. Back to astronomy. 20 points there. The atmosphere of Venus is mostly carbon dioxide with clouds of this strong Joshua from Chesterton. Methane. 
It was not methane. I'll finish it for Paul, or I will not. Go ahead, Paul. Sulfur? I cannot accept that. It was sulfuric acid, H2SO4, with clouds of this strong acid mixed in for good measure. Um, no, no worries, no points lost, but I can't give you the 20 there. Chesterton. Senate, 10 points there. This is the total number of seats in the Senate. Andrew from Chesterton. 100. 100 is correct, 50 times 2. And Chesterton, you control the board. Would you go that button a little bit there? Yeah, there you go. Algebra for 10. I'm sorry? Algebra for 10. Algebra for 10. X squared minus 49 can be factored into X plus 7 and this other binomial. Paul from Portage. X minus seven. That's correct. Ten points for Portage. But that is the end of our game by a score of 210 to 140. Chesterton will advance to the quarterfinals. A great game played by both teams. Glad you were here. Wonderful job on both squads. We will see you next time on Making the Grade. From Safer Communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you.